completing the square. Not all quadratic equations can be factored or can be solved in their original form using the square root property. In these cases, we may use a method for solving a quadratic equation known as completing the square. Using this method, we add or subtract terms to both sides of the equation until we have a perfect square trinomial on one side of the equal sign. We then apply the square root property to complete the square. The leading coefficient a must equal 1. If it does not, then divide the entire equation by a. Then we can use the following procedures to solve a quadratic equation by completing the square. So we will use example x squared plus 4x plus 1 equals 0 to illustrate this step. Now, if you take a look at x squared plus 4x plus 1 equals 0, if we try to factor this, it's not going to work because we don't have a number that when we multiply to get 1 and we add them together, it gets 4. There aren't any numbers that we can do that. So therefore, we're going to complete the square. So the, the second step is for us to isolate the variable terms. So we leave x squared plus 4x on the left side, and then we subtract 1 to this side. And I leave a space here in the second uh, step because we need to add n to both sides of the equation. Adding n to both sides allows us to figure out what the perfect square is going to be on the left side. Now adding n, we need to find when n is equal to 1 half of b and square it. Now if we look at the value of b here, b represents the number plus 4. So b is equal to plus 4. So now let's solve for n. n is equal to 1 half of 4 squared, and 1 half of 4 is 2. Now if we take 2 and then square it, it gives us 4. So now we can replace n to be 4. So now we have x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals negative 1 plus 4. And again, we got to make sure we have it on both sides of the equation. Now we need to factor x squared plus 4x plus 4. Well, it turns out that every time you do that, do this in this way, this is always going to become a perfect square. So we're going to get x plus 2 squared. Now, if you notice this plus 2, when we took half of 4, we got plus 2 here. So whatever you have to square to get this 4 is going to tell you what number goes here. So it becomes x plus 2 squared, which is equal to 3. And now what we can do is we can use the square root property to solve. So we're going to take the square root of both sides. When we take the square root of x plus 2 squared, what do I have to square to get x plus 2 squared? Well, we have x plus 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 3. So now we need to solve for x. So we need to subtract 2 to both sides. But whatever you subtract or add to this side, you always put that number in front of the plus or minus sign. So therefore, we get x, which is equal to negative 2, plus or minus the square root of 3. So we have two solutions. The first solution is negative 2 minus the square root of 3, and then negative 2 plus the square root of 3. So here are our solutions on the graph. Now let's check to verify. So the first one is negative 2 plus the square root of 3. And that gives us negative 2.68. And then we have negative 2 minus the square root of 3 and we get negative 3.732, so it does verify.